In the final stanza of the ESPN Bracket Buster series, the Ohio Bobcats face the music in, of course, Music City. Ian Clark dropped 18 points to become the leading scorer in the history of Belmont basketball, while the Ohio Bobcats shot just 39% for the game. The Bruins bashed the Bobcats by 19, 81 to 62. I led 5 to 2 very early in this ball game, but that slim lead quickly turned into a deficit. Belmont went on runs of 11 to 1 and 11 to 2 in the first half and led by a whopping 17 points at halftime, 41 to 24. The Cats shot just 36% through 20 minutes, while the Ruins made 14 of 27 field goal attempts and knocked down five trays. Trevor Nowak scored 13 in the first half for the Bruins. DJ Cooper, meanwhile, turned the ball over four times for Ohio. The second half was much of the same in favor of Belmont. The Bruins led by as many as 23 points on two occasions, and Ohio was never able to pull within single digits. TJ Hall said things simply weren't going Ohio's way tonight. Uh, missed shots from the beginning. Uh, you can tell uh, pretty good offense they have, uh, spreading the floor. They play pretty good defense, cap defense, stuff like that, but we just didn't hit shots. We didn't make plays at the end of the day. In the win, Belmont senior shooting guard Ian Clark became the all-time leading scorer for the Bruins. Fittingly, Clark bounced back from a first-half injury to lead all scores in the game with 18 points. I mean, he's, he's phenomenal. I mean, his numbers are ridiculous. He shoots 57% from the field. He averages 19 a game from the two-guard spot. I mean, there's probably not another guy in the country close to that. Um, he's a really, really good player. He'll be the conference player of the year in their league, no doubt. Only forwards TJ Hall and Reggie Cleary were able to take the next Wednesday at the Convocation Center. Uh, it's a big, uh, never want to take a loss, but we still have conference play. It's not a conference game. We got a big game on uh, Wednesday. It's Akron, a rivalry game, so we're looking forward to that now. And we're just trying to get this off our shoulders right now. But the good news to take out of this for Bobcat Nation is this was a non-conference game, meaning it meant absolutely nothing towards Ohio standing in the MAC. The Bobcats still second in the MAC East with an 11-1 conference record, and they'll have a chance to tie Akron for that number one spot this coming Wednesday as the Zips will invade the Convocation Center. Of course, the Cats have circled that February 27th date on the calendar for quite some time now. That's all I have from the Curb Event Center in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm Pat Chiesa reporting for the Bobcats Sports Showcase.